Hey everyone, I'm Andrew and welcome to another Magic Minute. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Adobe Image Generator found within Magic School. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over to the Image Generator. You can either start with one of these six templates, go straight to text to image, or you can upload an image and do some editing within Adobe Express. To use a template, simply click Try Now. So basically what this has done is created four different images based on this prompt. From here, you could continue to generate more of the same, or you could change out the prompt to make it something slightly different. So maybe instead I want it to be a spark of a yellow unicorn with a black mane. You can see just changing those words in the prompt gave me completely different images. Now I went back into the original template that I showed you before. I wanna show you two other features. Here you can see it says reference images. I'm gonna first go to style. I'm gonna use this picture of Raina, our chatbot. Now I've left the prompt the same, but I want you to see how just using this picture as the style reference changes our outputs. Very different images, but these are now based on the style of this image. You can see it's more cartoonish. You can see the color scheme is very similar. Now let's change it up. I'm gonna take away the image for style and I'm gonna now add it as composition instead. It's still a unicorn, it's still following my prompt, but instead the composition is more similar to this portrait of Raina. Let's say that we want to use the styles down here at the bottom. I'm going to see if I can create a coloring book version of this prompt. And I'm going to do a line drawing. So here I did change the prompt a little bit. All I added was I want this to make this in the style of a children's coloring book page. And boom, like magic, I have coloring sheets. So after regenerating and finding the image that I want to use, I'm going to now click on that image and I'm going to go to Save to Magic School. And once that image is saved, I can either download the image to use and print, or I can go to Edit in Adobe Express. Now, once in Adobe Express, you have a lot of different options to edit your image, but my favorite is the generative fill feature, which basically allows you to add any type of feature you want to your image. Then I can mess with the effects, hit Save to Magic School, and I'm good to go. Anyways, I hope you found this video helpful. There are so many different ways you can use the Adobe Image Generator as a teacher, but you can also use it with students. All you have to do, launch a new room and give your students access to the Adobe Image Generator. Have fun with it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.